Quanto alto posso volare? All right, real quickly, I just want to um, go through everything just to show you guys. I have cut up into chunks, and um, I also have the celery and the onions here, a green bell pepper, a kielbasa, chorizo cut up, and the bag of shrimp. And we're ready to start cooking. Usually jambalaya, you want to use andouille sausage. And that's basically just made with um, Cajun seasoning. And um, the chorizo is just made with Spanish seasoning. But um, andouille sausage is so hard to find in the supermarket. I can never find it. Um, when we lived in Texas, I could. But here in Florida, I just can never find it. So... Um, you can go ahead and definitely replace it with um, chorizos. Alright, so right here I have a huge pot and this is just my pressure cooker. If you don't know what that is. The top of it looks like that. And you close it up and it basically it pressure cooks your food. So something that would take three to four hours can take up to 30 minutes um, 30 to an hour which is super quick so I'm just going to show you the things that I'm going to use You can use olive oil. I'm just using some vegetable oil. And I'm just going to put that just to cover the bottom. And I got my heat up on high. You can go up to medium high heat. Um, depends on your stove. But I'm just going to go ahead and throw in the chicken. Okay, I got the chicken breast in there. While the chicken is raw, I'm just going to throw in about a pinch and a half of salt. You want to put the same in pepper. About a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. And of course, the garlic paste. And that's going to be about, about a tablespoon of that. Alright, now that the chicken got a nice pan, as you can see there, I'm going to go ahead and add my chorizo right over top of that. And that's just going to give you a beautiful color as well as very nice smoky flavor. Now that you give that a minute or two, I'm going to go ahead and add my kielbasa. If it starts getting a little bit dry, you can, you can add a little bit more oil. Just a little bit. Add 
in my veggies. I'm going to start out with the onions and the celery. And right over top of that, I'm just going to put in a little bit of salt. And the reason why you want to do this is you want to layer the flavors. Because there's going to be so much liquid in here with the tomato and the chicken bouillon and water and all that, um, you just want to go ahead and um, add a little bit of salt to the uh, vegetables as you throw them in a pot. Alright, so now that the onions and the celery are nice and sweated out, you just want to go ahead and add in your green bell pepper. Alright, so now that the veggies wilted down and um, sweated out a little bit, add in my petite diced tomatoes. I'm also going to add in my tomato sauce. And you just want to um, fill the whole can with water. And again, like I said, this is about a cup and a half. Doesn't You don't have to be precise, just do however much you want. Before I add that water in, I'm just going to cut my hand and I'm going to put the chicken bouillon. And this is basically like, um, you can use a can of um, chicken broth or chicken stock. Um, well, stock you probably want to use half of a can, but I'm just going to use chicken bouillon. It's a great substitute for that. Um, it's about a tablespoon of chicken bouillon. And you just want to mix that in before you add in your water. Alright, so now comes the fun part. We're going to go ahead and add our seasonings. I'm going to start with Cajun. And again, this is the most that you're going to use out of all the seasonings. And it has everything in this that you need to make um, jambalaya. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half. I'm going to put in two bay leaves. Just throw that in there. I'm going to add the cubes of the cilantro and I'm just breaking it down a little bit. A teaspoon of cayenne. Again, you don't have to put this in here because it is hot. So I'm just going to put about a teaspoon or about a pinch. I don't want to put too much. Alright, powdered garlic. I love me some garlic, so I am going to put about, about two teaspoons of that. And again, this doesn't have to be precise, so you can just um, you know, eyeball all the in, uh, seasonings. I'm also going to put in paprika. About a teaspoon. I put in thyme. And actually thyme you want to put quite a bit. So I'm actually going to put about, about a tablespoon I think of thyme. And also the oregano. You want to put quite a bit. So, it's about a tablespoon of oregano, and that's Spanish oregano. I'm just going to break the little leaves down when I put it in there, or as I put it in there. And 
again, you can skip this, but I'm just going to put about half a teaspoon of Louisiana hot sauce. And of course, the black pepper. About a teaspoon of that. Alright, you want to go ahead and mix that in. Do a taste right now if you want um, and see what you, if there's any ingredients that you want to put a little bit more of. Salt, pepper, garlic, um, Cajun seasoning. I don't recommend you putting a lot of the other stuff, but um, yeah, it's up to you. Alright, so what we're going to do now is just cover this. Um, again, if you have a regular pot, just put the lid on and um, put the heat down on low and just let it simmer for, um, let's say, about 30 minutes maybe 20 minutes. Um, the longer it sits, the better it's going to taste. You can even do this the day ahead and eat it um, tomorrow, the next day. Because I have a pressure cooker, it's only going to take a couple of minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on. Alright, so I got the lid on there, and when this little guy starts whistling, I am going to take it out, and it should be ready. Real quick, I just want to show you guys, um, I love my jambalaya with rice. You can, at this point, if you want, you can add in the rice to the jambalaya before you um, put the top on, um, uncooked rice, or you can just make white rice on the side. And um, I already have some prepared white rice here. So I'm just going to put the jambalaya on top of the rice um, as I plate it. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Alright, so about five minutes before your jambalaya is finished, you just want to go ahead and take off the top. And with the pressure cooker, it only took me about 10 to 15 minutes to get it cooking um or to get it ready <laughs> but um so we're five minutes away before it's done i'm gonna go ahead and add in my shrimp i'm just gonna mix that in and i'm gonna leave the top off because i want it to thicken up just a little bit so so yeah just mix the shrimp in and you want to let it cook for another five minutes and we'll be right back all right guys so that is the finished plate you can see it's steaming there delicious so i really hope you guys enjoy this as much as me and my family do um and if you want to request any recipes or um that you saw on my Facebook page because I have all the pictures of all the food that I do there and I get asked about them a lot so if there's anything there that you guys want to see me do or you want the recipe for um, please let me know and um, if you have any questions about this recipe um, everything is going to be in the description box below or you can go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll respond back all right see you guys later bye we